Hey guys, it's Rumplefugs here. Um, happy Christmas and a totally happy new year. It is now 2019, oh my God. Um, I hope you had a great Christmas and new year. If you made any resolutions, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. I made a few. Um, so far I'm sticking to them, but we're only four days in, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but today we are jumping back in with another Japan crate. Very exciting. Look at them. Can't wait. If you don't know already, Japan Crate is a subscription service. You pay them every month and they send you a box and it's filled with goodies. And what kind of goodies it is depends on what you want. So you can get food, you can get snacks, you can get uh, health and beauty stuff, and you can get super cute stuff, which is just awesome. So whichever kind of box you want, they send you one out every month. It's a great service. I totally recommend it. Uh, there'll be a link to the website in the description down below. Please go and check them out. Like I say, it's really cool. Hopefully in this video you can see why. Let's crack in. Now this is the December one, the Christmas one. Very excited. Um, I've had a sneak preview of what's in it. Not because I've opened it. I literally just opened it like two minutes ago. Um, but because they put a, um, a link to one of the items that was in it. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I was really excited. So without further ado, Oh my goodness, it's so, so much stuff. Okay, and it does have what I thought it has. I'm really excited. Right, 2019, January 2019. So yeah, this is the January one. I said Christmas. Mm. You paid for it in December. Hey ho, where do we start? Where do we start? I don't even know. Oh my God, there's so many cute things here. Okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. What are you? I can't even find you. Are you the marble gum? Hang on. This might be marble. Let me put the little things to the side. We'll go with those later. Oh my God, there's Pokemon stuff in here and everything. That's a whistle, that's amazing. So we are gonna start with, ooh, okay, okay. This one, this is Moki Choco Almond. Have a bit of this yummy chocolate pie. Mochi is super popular New Year's food. And this one is coated and filled with a rich chocolate. Yay. Let's dive in. Oh, he's um, he's crumbly. He's crumbly. He's a crumbly boy. Mmm. Mmm. -mm -mm. Okay. If you've ever been to your sushi, which I have many times, because it's the best place ever. This is super super sim similar to the uh, the moki that they do, but it is it is really chocolatey. It's like it's just all you can taste is chocolate. It's really rich as well. You'll find they're good to eat and you'll love their good taste. Oh, that's super cute. Also, look at this little bunny. Look at him. Look at him having a great time. This little bag of, I don't know. It's nice though. It's like, mm. it's got a chocolate filling, but then it has a chocolate, um, like it's got chocolate around it as well. It's just super chocolate. That's really nice. That was a really nice treat. What are we going next? There's lots of big bags in this one. I'm su super sorry. I'm gonna butcher the name on this. <clears throat> this one is, bam. This is Kaikaya Fried Potato Kyoto Fried White Sauce Sauce? So soy sauce. Fried potato chips are made with the utmost quality and these particular chips are prepared like Cabo Cuisine. A traditional way of cooking that is commonly found in Kyoto and often uses white soy sauce made with wheat, not soy. It possesses a sweeter and more flavorful taste than regular soy sauce. It's recommended that you try it as if it's fried tofu called koyoage by eating them with green onions, bonito, and ginger. Now I don't have any of those things. So I can't do that. So we'll just have to give it a go. Oh my God, it smells so good. Ugh. Yes. Mm. Okay. So texture-wise, they're like kettle chips. And flavor-wise, they're really nice. They're a little salty. Um, but I see what they mean about it being kind of sweet as well. 
Mm. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these are good. These are up there with soy sauce Cheetos. And I don't say that often. I say it like once an episode, but you know. These are good. These are really good. And I'm only gonna eat two just now because if I eat more than two, I'm gonna eat all of them. And I can't do that because my dinner's in the oven downstairs. And that would be really bad. Okay, moving on. This is, bam. These are a small plum bag. <laughs> These candies are made of Japanese plums and have a history of over 40 years. It's iconic for its packaging featuring a girl named Komini Chan from the Meiji area. Like I say, I'm really sorry if I'm straight up butchering these words. I know I am. I'm really sorry. Oof. Oh, they're like... They're like super tiny little candies. Okay, okay. Oh, they're really small They're really small candies. Look at them. They're tiny. So, on initial taste, they have almost like a sour taste, but the more you, um, oh. oh my goodness, okay, this is gonna sound stupid, not fun. See, if you were to lick a plum, it's got that kind of almost bitter taste to it, and that's what the outer side has, and then you bite into it. And oh my god, it just tastes like plum. But like, it tastes like I'm eating a plum. And this is uh, a really stupid way to describe it, but that's all I, that's the only way I can describe it. It tastes like a tiny, tiny little candy plum. Like the flavor is on point. It's really nice. So you've got two. You've got like this one, which is super tiny, but then you have this one. And this one's much bigger. You can feel it, it's huge. I wonder if these are the same. Let me open one of these up and see whether or not it's different. Look at him. Much bigger. Hmm. So I think it's the same sweet. I think it's just like you've got two different sizes. It's like a gobstopper. Ooh, okay. This one. Bam. It's a maple hot cake. Hot cake. Look at this adorable little hot cake. Look at him. He's so cute. You're gonna get eat. Enjoy a sweet treat with these mini hotcakes. Similar to Doriaki. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Doriaki, uh, total preface. I love Doriaki. Doriaki is my favorite food of all time. Or Doriaki with like a dipping sauce, like a raspberry dipping sauce with a custard inside. Best thing in the world. Similar to that, these pancakes are made into sandwiches filled with delicious maple syrup cream. Oh my goodness. Okay, oh, look at it. It's so gooey in the middle. Um. <laughs> oh my god. They're so good. There's another one in here. They're so good. There's another one in here that I'm gonna leave and eat later because I want to savor this for as long as possible. If you like maple syrup, these are on point. They're really rich. Oh, they just kind of melt away. Like, doriaki are these little, like, really, really fluffy pancakes. You smash it together, you stick maple syrup in the middle. Oh, Hot cake. Hot cake, thank you for coming into my life. Okay, bam. Persimmons high chew. Persimmon are a sweet and soft fruit commonly served in winter. Some persimmons are dried and associated with the good luck and longevity. Have a taste of these New Year's traditions in a classic Japanese favorite, Haichu. Why would you make your sweets so irresistible? And yeah, it's so difficult to get to. We're, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're nearly there. Are we nearly there? I don't know. They're super tiny. Look at them. They're like too... Too cute. Oh, they are too cute. Because, because, I wonder if you can see this. Look at the little... It's like a little face. The... Just like, just take my word for it, all right? It's like a little, it's like a little dude. Oh, that's so cute. I like chew it. Mmm. These 
These sum up why I love Japanese candy. These taste incredibly similar to orange chewits or orange starburst, right? Chewits were never orange. Orange starburst. But unlike with orange starburst, where you're like, oh, this is an orange flavored one. Okay, sure. You're eating these and you're like, no. No, 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 I'm eating, like, I'm eating a persimmon. The flavors are so on point, like, I don't even... Words can't describe, it is so on point. These are really nice. They're also um, a lot chewier than, like, a Chew It or a Starburst. They're, um, they're much thicker. I'm really glad there's, like, they're, like... There's one, well, one, two, three, four, like, easily, like, at least ten of those in there. They're really good. I'm gonna enjoy those for a while. As usual... We get one of these, bam. One of these make it, make your own DIY kits. This is called, this is called Sleeping Grape. For reasons. This is one of the most popular Japanese DIY kits. Blend the ingredients together to make a fluffy grape mix and add crunchy crispy chips as a sweet topping. Okay, awesome. So if you follow me on Instagram, which you totally should by the way, um, last month, I uh, I did make my little animal chews, but they were really tiny and I could only make like three of them. They were super small. So I will definitely make these and I'll put that on Instagram as well as an Instagram story. Yay, excellent. I like these. I like So that's what it's supposed to end up as. It's just like this massive ball of deliciousness with little stars and stuff in it. Exciting. Let's open some of these little things because I've got like a pile of them here. So this... This is Ultraman candy. Now, I'm guessing Ultraman is like a Japanese cartoon. Um, and it's you can get it in fire or ice. So we clearly have fire. Taste the ultra flavor of this grape lollipop featuring Ultraman Rosso and Ultraman Bull. All right, I like, I like, uh, I like lollipops. I'm about lollipops. Oh, it's a little cute, a little cutie. Oh, yeah, that's grapes. Mm. Yeah, there's an American candy. I don't remember what it's called, but there is an American candy and you can get grape flavored of it. Sorry, that's the vaguest um, description ever, but there's an American candy, you can get grape flavor of it, and this is what, that's what this tastes like. Despite what I said earlier about Japanese sweets being really on point to, um, to flavors, this one does taste, it tastes kind of like that. Um, in fact, actually, the Kirby um, grape drink that we had last month, it's the exact same style of flavor. It's that kind of artificial grape, I suppose. But it's tasty. Okay, what else we got? What else we got here? We got so much gum. All right, every, year, every month they send us gum. There's so much of it. Okay, so this one, which is clearly Pokemon, clearly Pokemon. This is Pokemon Sun and Moon Gum. Pokemon, no, Pikachu and friends are here with this juicy grape flavor gum. Each package has different Sun and Moon Pokemon. Which ones did you get? So we got Rowlet and Popplio. Uh, I don't remember what the uh, fire starter is called. Awkward. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Yeah. It's gum. I like bubble gum. I do like bubble gum. Bubble gum's nice. But we also have um, Dorymon uh, marble gum, which you can hear in there. And we also have one piece gum, which is really tiny. The one piece gum is uh, great flavored as well. The Dorymon gum is soda flavored. I wonder if that's like cola bottle style soda. Or maybe it's just like generic fits. This tiny little thing here, this is a Degashi Shop candy. Degashi are classic Japanese candy that have often been around for decades. This is one that you would find in vintage candy shops. There are a variety of flavors. Uh, ramen, cola, mandarin, grape, lemon, and peach. Which one did you get? Which one did we get? If it's grape, like I appreciate grape, but we're on a bit of a grape train today. Oh, that's cola. 
Mm. That's like um, that's like old school cola ball flavor. Mm. That's quite nice. This is another uh, gobstopper. My teeth. Oh gosh, that aftertaste. Whew. <laughs> Oh man, okay, this is glorious. It's a pipe chocolate. This chocolate comes in a fun pipe-like packaging that also doubles as a whistle. Oh yeah, that's right. Yay! <laughs> Makes for a fun sound maker for the new year. We weren't um we weren't anywhere near as cool during the new year. We didn't have pipe whistles. God. Mmm. Or they're like tiny, tiny, tiny little chocolates. Like super chocolates. Super small. Mmm. They're nice. You basically eat them all in one. Mmm. The last kind of super small thing that we have is this. And this is... It's Hello Kitty. It is Hello Kitty chocolate marshmallow. I love marshmallow. Marshmallow is one of my favorite things. When you're feeling a bit peckish, have a nibble on this fluffy chocolate filled marshmallow packaged with Japan's iconic Hello Kitty. Ooh! That's got chocolate in the middle. Mmm, it's nice chocolate as well. Yes, yeah, send me more marshmallow, please. Oh, wait! They already did! It is another marshmallow. This is Big Marshmallow. Big Marshmallow. We've got this really cute look. He has this really cute face. Ayy! This marshmallow is like fluffy winter snow. Put it in hot cocoa, melt it as a s'more, or eat it as is. We're just gonna eat it as is. I really like marshmallow. Mmm. Yes. This is like. Do you remember flumps? It's just what this is. It's just a flump. Nothing wrong with that. We have powered through this box, by the way. We have actually, like, destroyed it. These three, three things are all kind of, um, quite big. This is the first one we're gonna try. Look em. This is Puku Puku Taiyaki. Taiyaki is a Japanese street food that is often shaped like a fish and filled with sweet red beans. This one is filled with airy chocolate. Look at it. Would've been about the red bean, to be honest. But... Chocolate's not bad. We've got a little bashed in transit. He's a little bashed. That's one side. Oh, he's upside down. And then that's the other side. He's also upside down. There you go. Okay, I gotta eat this over this, because this this is gonna be a crumbly boy. Mmm. Mmm. It's like, um, it's wafer. I didn't realize it was wafer. That's nice. The chocolate that's inside of it is kind of almost wafer-like as well. So it doesn't have a really weird like texture thing going on. It's actually just really tasty. Good job, fish. You're tasty. You are tasty. Oh my god. Right, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, that's what this box is. Bam. It is a fully ripe strawberry Genji pie. These flaky pies are perfect for winter. They're made of 64 layers of crispy pastry and filled with strawberry cream. You can try it toasted and warm for a delectable winter treat. I probably will toast it, but I want to try like a little bit of it first. I'm also massacring this box. It's got like a little, um, I don't know what this is. Uh, if you're Japanese and you're reading this, please tell me what it says because it's like really cute. And I'm very much about it. Adorable, adorable little box. Oh, they're tiny. <gasps> Look at them. They're really small. Oh, they smell so strawberry. They're like, it's the only thing you can smell is just strawberry. Okay, well, we'll have one cold, but I will try some heat it up as well, because why wouldn't you? Mmm. This pastry is so flaky. It's really nice. It's not overly packed with filling. So actually, like it eats really well. These are really good. I am intrigued as to how these will be warmed up. I can't wait to try that. 
Yay! Thank you, Strawberry Ganji Pie. You're great. Okay. We have one snack and we have our drink left as well. We're going to open the snack first. So I want to save the drink till last. This one, this one is corn chips dressing flavor. Frito-Lay and Kraft have partnered up to bring crunchy chips flavored with Parmesan Caesar dressing. What? It has like wild instructions. So you can like get um, like your salad and you just put it in and then just shake it about to make your own salad. Or you can just make a salad and then just chuck them on top. We're gonna do neither of those things. We're just gonna eat these bad boys as is. Oh, yeah. That smells like salad dressing. Um. Oh, it's so parmesan E. They're nice. They're like, um, they have that kind of like Caesar taste, like it's an aftertaste. It's mainly just like a really strong parmesan flavor. Those are actually really good. Oh man, we, uh, we did well with the uh, chips this, this month. I am happy. Uh, the drink that's, that we have this year, this year, this month, drink that we have this month isn't uh, hugely like exciting. But it is because of how it looks. This month we got the Coca-Cola Limited Edition Slim Ball. But this is for one of the anniversaries of Coca-Cola and every ever since the 100th anniversary Japan has released exclusive yearly designs so you can keep it and it's like a commemorative bottle so that's really cool. Watch as this fizzes everywhere. Whoa! Oh <laughs> well, that was weird. It's just Coke. Like, it's a really nice ball. Look at it. So I saw this and I was excited more, like, more for the bottle, really. I like I like Coke, but I wasn't super fussed about the drink. But yeah, it's like a really nice design. I'm definitely going to keep this. I'm going to keep this and put it on my shelf. Pride of place. Mm. Yummy. All right, well, we've, we've run out of things to eat. I mean, I haven't. I can go back and eat more of the things we've already eaten, but we've run out of new things to eat. This is a really good box, actually. This is a really good box. Uh, a lot of um, grape stuff, a lot of marshmallow, a lot of chips. No, it's going to be hard to pick a top three because I've got four that are definitely in the running. Hmm, okay. We're going to do a joint third because both of these are really tasty. So, in joint third, drumroll, we have Persimmons High Chews. And we have corn chips dressing flavor. These are both really nice. These are both really, really nice. Um, I love, I love the, like I love chew sweets. I think they're just great. But the flavor in these is like top notch. Um, and the uh, corn chips, they're, they're really nice. They're like Doritos, they're super crunchy. Great taste of them. Yeah, I like both of these. I like both of these. They're definitely a joint third. In second, it has to be. It has to be. It's the maple hot cake. This, yeah, yeah. You did good, maple hot cake. It's taking all my strength not to eat the other one right now, but I'm not gonna. Which means in first place, we have, obviously, we have Koikea Pride Potatoes. These are so good. I don't know. I don't know how else to describe it. They, they smell amazing. They taste amazing. They've got a great crunchiness. They feel really light. Here are these two, right? And these are the wrong way around. But these, basically, this tastes like you're eating super unhealthy crisps, right? This is really light. It doesn't feel like you're eating that much. Now, I'm not saying that they're better for you. They're probably not. But they taste like they're better for you. And that means it's much easier to eat them all. That's why they win. Man, this is a good box. I'm really happy about this box. This is a really nice way to start 2019. GG Japan Great. Thank you so much for watching our video today. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. 
uh, it makes me feel really happy. You can also hit subscribe because we put a new video every month. So you will never miss your monthly dose of Japanese candy. Thank you again. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, and I will see you next month. I'll see you in February. Awesome. Bye.